Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Roxanne and today uh, we're going to be doing some resin. So I just bought a kit from Amazon and I think it has everything in it. So this is high gloss, non-toxic, easy mix and crystal clear um, epoxy resin. And yeah, so it's going to be the first time that I'm actually doing anything with it, but I've seen a lot of stuff on Instagram and like making um, some plates and some crazy stuff that I think are really beautiful. So I decided that I wanted to make some. And I have all of these molds because what I wanted to do is make uh, some crochet hooks because I realized that I don't have a set of crochet hooks and I was really interested in trying to make some for myself and maybe why not for my shop if uh, depending on how they turn out but yeah so I have like I think five ten I have ten hook sizes ranging from I think three millimeter to ten millimeter and yeah so I really I'm really excited about um, today's video so without talking uh, too much let's just jump into the core of this video So we have these two cups, we have this kind of plastic stuff, we have a bit of colors, I guess, we also have So we have this stuff, I guess, to mix the product, some gloves, I think. I don't know how this is called, but yeah, we have some. We also have this kind of sparkly blue stuff, same in white. We also have some gold foils, I think. So we have gold, silver, and copper. And then, of course, we have the resin and like the resin and the hardener. And so I have these molds which I also bought, bought on Amazon and yeah so I guess this is time to get started so as I don't have any masks to put on I just decided to go in my father's garage to make this which is far better ventilated than my, than my Room, so I'm just gonna be working here so tip number one I would recommend working with gloves that fit you um, because once you get like the resin on your gloves it's getting stickier and stickier and it's really hard to to take the little pieces in your hands when they just stick you to your gloves my second tip would be to mix your resin very slowly and for at least three or three four or five minutes and to have really the right amount of each uh, resin parts like the resin and the hardener they should really be um, equally proportioned third tip i would recommend being careful if you want to do your resin outside because there was there were a lot of bugs 
outside and yeah they were getting into the resin and yeah it was not very pleasant not for me and I guess not for them either tip number four I would recommend if you want to protect the surface on which you are working to use a plastic bag or something just because the little bit of paper that I used uh, did not protect the table at all and there was resin all over the table. So tip number five, I would recommend working on a sturdy table because here, for instance, the molds are very um, flimsy and small and so it's better to use a sturdy table. So here, as you can see, I am just applying some pink, some white, some yellow some gold foils and that's it like i am repeating this process for each and every mold that i have and yeah that's it So a little update on the hooks, I can see there is one bubble in this hook, like right here, I think. Um, so obviously there are others in the other hooks, but like this one is the only one to have a big bubble where the head of the hook is so i guess i'll have to do this one again because i think it's going to be an issue to have like a bubble here but otherwise i think they are all very pretty so far i can't wait to remove the molds but yeah i'm gonna wait a little bit more So now I'm going to be removing the molds and I hope you're going to enjoy the process as much as I did.
now these two are the one that are the hardest right now so they are not i think completely completely dried but i still want to try and send the edges here so honestly here i was using what i had but i read online that you should be uh, sending resin with like humid sending paper so i guess it is supposed to be a special special type of paper that can be wet so what i realize now is that i should have filled the molds a little bit more and i think it would have been better so i guess i'm gonna do that for the next um crochet hooks that i make but um i am very pleased with the result i am going to see tomorrow if the resin cured correctly because right now it is still a little bit flimsy and i don't know yet if it is because i haven't let it dry for enough time or if i didn't mix the two um resin parts correctly yeah i'm gonna see i'm gonna show you that tomorrow there is just one thing that i don't like about this one in particular and it is the very big um bubble here that i am not going to be able to um repair i think except if i just put some resin back inside but i don't know so i think this is the only one where the bubble is so big uh, the others are quite okay so yeah i'm gonna meet you tomorrow and i don't know if i will have done more uh, sending or if i'm gonna do that tomorrow once everything is harder so here are all the hooks I made and I am going to clean them up a bit. Finally, I wanted to try to crochet with one of my hooks, so it was very like normal and that was cool, but yeah, they are still not that hard, so it's not completely usable yet. final review I guess um, so here is what they all look like the nine crochet hooks I made over the past um, three days so I am overall very happy with the way they look like I love the colors I love the gold uh, foils in them and I am very surprised that I was able to have something <laughs> at the end of this video. I was expecting like uh, more of a disaster and it didn't happen so yeah I'm very happy. But um, there are lots of parts that are not um, perfect I guess and normal but uh, yeah so they, I I'm gonna be doing more crochet sets um, again and again like for instance I guess I'm gonna be like filling the, mold, the molds more and I'm gonna be changing the way I send 
the fox at the end and I'm gonna try and make um, the resin harder I guess but um, in the end really I'm really happy and I think they look beautiful and I guess I'm gonna be using the bigger ones the ones that are the hardest and that have no bubbles and stuff so I guess like these two are quite nice and this one as well this one as well um maybe this one too but the smaller ones are very very flimsy and I don't think that's really usable and I think it would break but whatever I am very happy I hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you did please forget don't forget <laughs> to subscribe like and comment and yeah I'm gonna see you all in the next video bye